Is expired glue dangerous to use? Spoiler alert, we think so. We're gonna test some vinyl ester, AC100. This is before DeWalt took over and some stuff that's two years expired. And we're gonna test that and some glue and bolts here today on how not to hide. Hi, I'm Ryan Jinx and welcome to the middle of nowhere where we are testing some bolts. And one of the tests we are gonna do for this episode is to test a 10 millimeter solid leg bolt with a welded eye from boltproducts.com. What we are going to test it with is some vinyl ester. This is the popular AC100 Gold. Now it used to be owned by Powers and now it's owned by DeWalt. This says May 2017, it expires. And I believe there's a year or two from the date it's manufactured to the time it is expired. And this one says December 2019. So this is one year, four months expired, and this is almost four years expired. So we're gonna do two holes with this guy and one hole with this guy, and we're gonna pull in tension or straight out because that is worst case scenario. If it holds and the weld breaks and the bolt breaks and the glue's holding, it'll be super good enough. Now, why are we testing expired glue? Well, we've seen some threads on mountainproject.com of bolts coming out that did not cure properly. I've also used, because I have more of this than I want, some on a house project inside of my house of all things, and it stunk for a long time, it never stopped stinking. And then I used it like an idiot to fill some cracked concrete outside in my backyard because, well, they're, they're used, I'm not really gonna use them for bolts. It never really cured. It stayed sticky, which is also a bummer. It's not curing properly. I think the hardener inside of the tube expires. Why? That's why there's a date. Now, there have been a handful of tests that we have used expired epoxy. This is vinyl ester. This is not as good as epoxy. and the bolts were breaking. Quite a few of our tests are actually done with expired epoxy because it was working just fine. Uh, so I can pretty much say we've tested that. Polyester is substandard compared to epoxy and vinyl ester is kind of in between and there's a lot of esters in between all of those. Now I'm gonna bump Bobby and I's favorite epoxy so far. Fits in a caulk tube and it's roughly $20 a tube, which is roughly what these cost. So this is a good epoxy. It, if you're wearing a big enough jacket, it's not coming out of the tube. Whereas if it is cold out, you can actually use these and the drying time is quick. This you can't really use for six hours, possibly even until the next day. Pros and cons with every type of glue, you can go to the Bolting Bible and check all that out on slackline.com. It's a pretty cool book. It's got everything in it. Let's fill these holes up. You look at that solvent at the top. Oh, nasty. Ew. Oh, that's not the right color at all. Hold on. Oh, no, there's the black. There we go. Oh, we're getting closer. To make sure you squirt out the first squirt. All right, that's the right color, guys. These holes are clean. It's less runny. I do like that about this stuff. Yeah. Okay. Switching dates. Ah, yuck. Oh. Bobby, I'm oozing. Whoa, um, that's you, steaming? Yeah. Bobby. Is it hardening already? Yeah, yeah. Bobby. <laughs> There's nothing you can do. Bobby, I can't. Um, ah. yeah, you can really see the heat coming off of that one. Okay, I hate this stuff. <laughs> what the hell? It's already hard? <coughs> oh God, the phew. <coughs> I, all right, it is in the sun. So the working time should be five minutes. And that wasn't even one minute. We we're, we we're so amazed by the steam coming off of this hot ass glue that I messed up my one and only nozzle. 75 and sunny today, just for the record. Oh, that, that looks like, it? like the right color. Yep. Okay, because it's already hardening. I can feel it. <laughs> no burping, I hope. Yeah, if you want instantaneous results, AC100 is your glue. I'm a set it and leave it kind of a guy. What do you think, Bobby? Looks good. Welcome to tomorrow. 
It's been about 16 hours and it was pretty nice yesterday. So we feel these are fully cured enough. We can make a t-shirt that says that. And uh, that is ready to be pulled. So let's do it. What do, you, <laughs> what do you think is going to happen, Bobby? I think we might get full strength out of these. It, it looks like the gear, glue cured properly, um, but there's no way of knowing for sure unless you break them, which we're about to do. This stuff, totally hard. It's still a little bit, um, there's still a little bit of residue on it. Yeah, it still has that um, solvent feel to it. Yeah. Like when I grind my finger across it, like I get some stuff on it. Yeah, and then like remember all of this gook coming out first? Gook, yes. What happened in this article I read of a bolt pulling out and finding out it was expired glue is it might have been the first squirt that never hardened. The point is when I'm a painting contractor and the longer I leave solvent-based paints, sitting for like two years, all the solids go to the bottom, all the solvents go to the top, and it'll separate. Uh, normal acrylic house paint will do that as well, but not nearly as bad as solvents. And that's what this glue is, this is solvent-based material. It's really, really important that you check as the first squirt that comes out, and then the last squirt, or the nozzle hardening up, is hardening both before and after, so you know what's in the hole is hard. Now we're gonna find out if this slightly at my finger it feels pretty sticky now from the dry stuff we're gonna find out if that is gonna give us full strength right now bobby i think it's strong oh, yeah. <laughs> So this is what I like to call full strength. Oh, it did come out a little bit, to be fair. No way! It is unfortunate to say we are getting full strength. Because I was really hoping we'd find one way to screw up glue and bolts, but I have yet to find a way to do it. Other than not mixing your stuff right. Stop. Woo. She's creaking. I wonder if it would come out just holding the tension. <laughs> Hey, we got a different result. We don't have to angle grind this off. Hey, we could reuse that, that's right. <laughs> because taking a weld to 37 kilonewtons does not compromise it whatsoever. We are not endorsing using expired glue. We have used expired epoxy because we're cheap and bolt busters is expensive and we are pulling the stuff out and it was giving us good results. But we don't ever use it when we're actually putting in stuff people's lives depend on. We want our stuff to be quality. I mean, we're going through the work, the effort, we're spending money on the bolts. You're not gonna save enough money on the glue to make it worth the risk of our tests being wrong. Now, I'm not saying we shouldn't be complete assholes to people doing things wrong, but maybe we can do things a little bit nicer and still educate them to do things right. And I think that's the whole point of Bolt Busters is to find out that we can be nice to each other because, uh, Really, no one's gonna die unless you're using anything other than titanium in Thailand near the ocean. What? People die. Oh. Bolts break. Oh, okay. Yeah, because they rust. Yeah. But it's hard to screw up normal bolts in granite in the middle of the Sierras. You'd have to put in some pretty janky stuff. And even then, we just put in some janky stuff we're gonna make an episode about, which means you should subscribe. Speaking of being nice to people, hit the subscribe button and the like button because that's a really nice thing to do. Cheers. We've installed our new Via Ferrata points here. <laughs>